And this is the other side of the process. This is our um, grocery worm thing. all it does. It just goes around and around and around and um, that flange on the end is supposed to be to separate the worms. They stick to it. They go past the holes and they stick to that flange and they drop a bit further across than the rubbish that drops out on the bottom. It doesn't work. It makes a fantastic mixer for potty mixes and um, soil processes, um, making beautiful soil soil additives, stuff like um, this stuff. It's just yummy, yummy, yummy when it's all gone through. It cleans all the rubbish out of it, plastics, bits of chewed up stuff, anything that's not composted. And that ends up down there. You see little bits of plastic through it. I'll put that through one or two more times. It's not much there, and as it dries, the bits of pelletized worm castings and continue to sort more of the plastics out and be left with very little after I've put that through once or twice more. And so that's it. And then when it's finished, I just put it in a heap over here. That's worm castings, nice and sorted. This one's got a bit of mix of uh, vermiculite and uh, cocoa peat. I was cleaning out the potting shed and found a couple of bags and thought I'd throw it in for bulk. Primarily because I want to make some potty mixes um, to fill out some bathtubs so we can have a veggie garden. Now I've got bits of hydroponic stuff as well so I was thinking well why not use the um, worm liquid to um, put your hydroponic in a small space and put some uh, vertical gardens in I might be able to create um, intense agriculture who knows, another experiment